Masculine and feminine energy. We all know it makes a big difference and, it, and it's very important in relationships. But how? It's very confusing, right? So say for example, you're single or even if you're in a relationship, what I want you to imagine about feminine energy is about magnets, yeah? A magnet is, is attracting, yeah? I want you to think about trying to, if you're in your feminine energy, especially if you're single, trying to make that magnet stronger, that attracting pull, if you will. It's not a pushing force, it's a pulling force, all right? So femininity is more about a pulling nature, a magnet attracting it in, it's pulling, isn't it? Masculine energy is a pushing force, right? It's, it's more of a pushing, it's a penetrating, it's a pushing force. A man's to penetrate his world and his woman. It's a penetrating thing, not just in a sexual nature, but in everything, all right? It's a pushing force, it's a driving force, but it's the opposite of a magnet. A magnet pulls in, it doesn't push, yeah? Okay, now not to get too deep in physics, but that's the way I want you to think about it. A magnet pulling and attracting and a, and a masculine force of the penetrating, the pushing notion. So if you're a female, I want you to think about how you can make that magnet stronger. And I want you to think about if you're a masculine energy, how can you penetrate that and how can you look for, for magnets which are attracting you in and go after those magnets because it's gonna be better relationship. Now, masculine energy is all about those things. So if you're a female and you're really penetrating the world with your energy and really you're a driving force, you're probably in your masculine energy, okay? It's a very leadership, ambitious, driving force. They're all masculine things. Not necessarily always bad, but what, that's what I want you to think about, especially in relationships. If you're that very driving force, very ambitious, very driven, and you're always pushing forward, you're probably in your masculine energy and it's probably holding you back to some degree in relationships. It's probably hurting your happiness and life satisfaction. So I want you to really think about being in that magnet. Instead of driving and pushing for what you want, try attracting it in. Try attracting in that energy that you want to see. And if you're the man, don't, and if you're a male, try to step in that masculinity. Don't try to attract it in, but instead drive forward ambitiously, like a nail through timber, yeah? Driving force, not attracting it in, you're driving it, okay? See the difference? That's what I want you to think about. If you, if you sort of settle into those differences and realize that men and women are different and masculine and feminine energy plays a huge role in what we are, it's, it's a huge mistake to push men and women to act the same, okay? Relationships and all this and dating, men and women are different. And masculine energy and feminine energy is different and it matters a great deal. Remember the five pillars to a 10 out of 10 relationship, guys, okay? Attraction, masculine and feminine energy, courtship, intimacy, and communication. Masculine and feminine energy plays a huge role. And when the roles are reversed, see, a relationship can often start where the man's masculine and the female's feminine. But then over time, over the years, she goes into a feminine nature and he goes into his, she goes into masculine states and he goes into his feminine energy and the relationship's all messed up and they're not very happy and they call me and they try to get it back. Now, the longer it's in this state of her being masculine and him being feminine, the harder it's gonna be to get back, okay? So couples come to me who've been stuck in this way for 10 years, yeah? Where, where she's in a masculine energy and he's in his feminine energy. It's been like that for a decade. Trying to get that back is almost impossible, okay? Because she's gonna fight all the way trying to get her into a feminine energy and he's gonna try to push it, but then it turns into two bulls butting heads. Lots of arguments, two bulls butting heads, two people trying to be the leader. It's, it's a very messy situation. So I want you to think about the magnet and the nail. Yeah, the magnet, the magnet attracts what it wants in and the nail penetrates in towards its goals and ambitions. And that's the difference between masculine and feminine energy. I hope that helps. It's a little bit of an analogy that we've come up with. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. I hope that somehow furthers your understanding of what masculine and feminine energy is all about and how you can better use it to really live the life that you really want to live.